Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got another one from Joke World. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What we got? This is the best of Bobby Lee and Joey Diaz. Yeah, man. Two of my favorite people. Yeah, good, good combo, good combo. Definitely. Some wild stories between the two, you know? Oh, my goodness. Between the one-legged woman and Bobby Lee's um, adventures. <laughs> yeah, we just get some gold. Right, yeah. Mexico adventures and, yeah. yeah, a lot of twisted ones. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you ready? Yes. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? Tell him, tell, tell him the story when Dice sent you home because he lost Dice. <laughs> I was working the door. I was working the door. At the store. At the store, and Andrew Dice Clay walks up to me. I don't even know him. And he goes, hey, Ching, get in the car. <laughs> he used to call me Ching, right? He didn't know my name for 10 years. Every time, Ching. And I go, well, my name is Bobby. No, you're Ching. I go, that's racist. He goes, no, as Ching. You got your money. <laughs> Right, yeah, so okay. switch it up. <laughs> he flies me first class I have my comedy store t-shirt on first class to Las Vegas right and he goes you're going to be my good luck charm <laughs> he loses $750,000 oh. in, in 24 hours it was, I've never <laughs> seen I mean Damn. imagine having no money and then but what was uh. fucked up about it is the whole ride over there he was like you're going to get 10% of my winnings. <laughs> so in my head is if he makes a million dollars, I'm going to make a hundred grand. Right? But now he's down 750. Right? And he goes, go home. I went home. And he didn't talk to me for years. Before my da- daughter was born, I met a woman at Flappers one night, just very casually in the back. Ah. She was like, a, she did something for yeah. Flappers. And I didn't, and I, no fucking man. Come what on, you look do? great. What am I going to do with a girl? What am yeah, I going to yeah, yeah. on? What am I going to do with a girl? I'm an old man. I got 55-year-old nuts. They look like they're 55. <laughs> For a young girl to suck them, I wouldn't get no satisfaction on it. I'm just fucking somebody's world up. Yeah. I'm just fucking somebody's world up. Yeah. In fact, one time Rogan asked me, he goes, did you yeah. ever have a girlfriend that committed suicide? No, but if anybody sucked my dick, I'd kill myself. I'd, I'd, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd kill myself. Yeah, yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. You understand me? It's just disgusting. Yeah. Like, we've gone through comedy hell. Like, it's disgusting. Uh, and, you know, I fingered an Indian chick in Boise, Idaho, one time on the dance floor. I was fingering her. She had a yeast infection. How could, you know, I took my hand out, and it was covered in yogurt. How the fuck? Uh, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the fuck? Did you hear that fart? That yeah, was a good fart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kapucha. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, I, do, I have a bit about, like, a Thai hooker eating my butthole. Right, and then my <laughs> girlfriend was like, "Yeah, my mom was in the audience, and I just don't think you should have told that joke." I go, "What's wrong with it?" Like, I don't know that it's wrong, but I guess. <laughs> well, is it wrong? It's it's not wrong. It's just that they don't, they're offended by it, or it makes them weird. You, know, you have to understand when a Midwestern white person or whatever, right? They go to school, they ha- they have church on Sundays, right? They go to work from nine to five. You know what I mean? They have kids. They don't know anything about that. So when I'm bent over on a stool and this Asian lady's eating my butthole, right? Like to me, that's every day. You know what I mean? I think about that every day. Every day. Yeah, that's my life. It's lifestyle. You know what I mean? But to them, it's like, oh, must be the whole thing. Nice. Yeah, he's getting real lazy with his edibles. You know? Nice. Those wrappers are already open when I get it. Yeah, but I did that for a reason. He doesn't know what I did. What'd Listen, you what'd you do? Let me explain something. Yeah. You just took a, every day, you just, you just took a mushroom? Just no, every day the Mexican government <laughs> ships in 100 kilos a day. Into the, 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 of what? Of cocaine. Uh-huh. But they break it up. They ship 60, 30, and then three in tents. 60, 30. Right? 60, 30, 60. and then three, three, three? Yeah, they, six, they send 60, and then they send like uh, four tents. So 10 kilos on one meal, 10 kilos on the other, 10 kilos in the one meal. And the grand prize is the 60. They, they work with statistics and percentages. All right, so they get, one of those meals gets busted. They lose 10 kilos, but they still get in 90. 
So it doesn't matter. They, yeah. they, they, they include that in the profit. So today, I gave away a fucking every day when I have an edible. You see these edibles here? Yeah. They come in a little butter packet. So what I do is I open them and I pop them. And I pop them for a purpose because he thinks there's something in them. And I constantly <laughs> fuck with them. And I fuck with him because he lets me. So if you open that up, look inside of that. There's a little butter pack. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I let you. I have no so choice. I tell him, listen, I open them and then I put them in there and reseal them. So he <laughs> oh, really? I don't do nothing to him. So today, so last so night, I got him with the spray bottles. Of water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sprayed yeah. the fuck. I sprayed God this formaldehyde on him and some. Uh, I did eat gummies. Are they good? Delicious. Oh yeah, you get fucked up. You really do. <laughs> yeah. So tonight I sprayed the deactivizer and I hit a Xanax, a little quart of Xanax in the bottom. It was upside so, down yeah, he too. He caught the Xanax. He thought he was like an inspector. He thought he was like no, an FDA it. inspector. Mm -hmm. But next thing you know, he swallowed the fucking cat tranquilizer. <laughs> so <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get tranquilizer. I don't know these kids that get these things. That's fine. I'm happy for everyone that gets it, okay? But there are just certain people, right, that is just a given, all right? You did 25 years of time into this thing, all right? And you were always in it. You were never like some of these guys, yeah, I, I, I went away for 10 years and I came back. You know, this, no, this guy was like me. We were in the pocket when do I always see you? Why? Because it's not because I mean I like seeing you, but it's because you and I have never quit. We never quit. Yeah, we're always just oh there he is. He's just a part of my reality because him and I are both guys that refuse to leave the game. We got nowhere to go. We're like Richard Gere. And I have places gentlemen. to go. Dude. You got nowhere to go. I can go to mountaintops. I can go to you beach cities. I can go all go. over the world. If you would have somewhere to go. You would have gone already. No, but here's who puts up with this fucking abuse? Who puts up with this? People choosing us. Netflix not giving you a special, but you're following Paul Mooney for a year. Who the fuck are they to decide? <laughs> That's why I was so lucky. You and I have you're something right. that no other comic you has. You me over. Are you ready for this? <laughs> you know what you and I are? What? Well, all right, you have the Air Force. You have the Army. Mm -hmm. You have the fucking Marines. Navy SEAL? You have. My Navy SEAL? We are the Navy SEALs. Oh! <laughs> I when wanted shit, to hear it! When shit gets danged. Danger! When shit gets danger. Who do they drop out of a helicopter? Us, the Navy Seals. <laughs> oh, We're real. Mitzi Shaw hand picked us. That will never, never ever happen again. So who the fuck is anybody <laughs> to judge me? Is there a picture of me on an improv? Not really. There's not a pic. You don't see me on any shows getting interviewed by Conan, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've come to that's that another, agreement. That's, that's, that's another thing that's interesting. Is yeah, that I've come I to go, that. I go to Facebook, right, or my Instagram, whatever social media, and I'll scroll through, like, you know, these younger guys on Conan and all these Jimmy Kimmel, all these things. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh, congratulations, that's great. And then it, it, always in my back of my head, it's like, I've never even been invited. <laughs> Damn. I'll never go. I'm on a show now, right? A network show. They have that upfronts every year. Two year, two upfronts they've had so far, right? Two? Kidding. Yeah. Do they invite Bobby? No, Lee? they have never been there. What? Hey, damn. And all they talk about is diversity and yeah. Love. I mean, I'm on the show, which is great. Yeah. That's good, and that was great. But you know, it's or like just for laughs. Just for laughs. Never been. No, me no. neither. <laughs> now they, now they you've want never me to been, go. You now, now they know, yeah, but they, you've never been to Latin, Montreal. Never, never even. They said they didn't like the twitch I did with my hand. When you, <laughs> <laughs> what? So, note. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something that happened to me in Austin, Dude. and I can't even believe you just said that because, and it's the mo it's an atrocity, right? And I'm going to sue. I might sue. I was playing Austin a year ago, okay, on the books. Matt Blake calls me. He goes, you're out of, you're, a, week, a weekend, right? You're out of Boston. I go, why? Because Rich Miller called me and said that the year before, you were in a limo with the limo driver. You pulled your dick out and you told the limo driver to suck your dick. <laughs> That's what he said. Did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, get ready, I didn't do that. Right? <laughs> I go, excuse me, Matt. First of all, when have I ever been in a fucking limo? And number two, Nick Youssef, my opener, was with me every second of every day. I never fucking did that. Why would I do that? I'm sober, right? 
I go, give me Rich Miller's number. Rich Miller is Dennis Miller's brother. Right, right, right. Who, no, they don't know the people oh, listening, man. right? So P- Rich Miller is Dennis Miller's brother, and he books comedy rooms, right? And he lives in Minnesota. I don't know the fucking guy, right? I call Rich Miller. He answers. I go, dude, I never pulled my dick out <laughs> and told some white limiter to suck my dick. I'm not gay. <laughs> and also, I'm sober. Like, I'm in the AA. I have a sponsor. You know what I mean? I pray. I meditate. Why the fuck? Would I do that? He goes, I don't know anything about that. I double booked you, right? I double booked you, and it's the other guy's a friend of mine. He has no money, but I'll get you back on the books. That's what the fucking guy tells me, right? I hang up the phone. I call Matt. I go, that's what Rich said. He didn't even mention the dick-sucking thing, right? (laughs) So then Matt called Rich again. Matt calls me back. He goes, yeah, you did it. <laughs> the dick sucking. So the Rich Miller can't say it to my face. <laughs> he lies to me on my face, right? And then tells my agent that I did it. I never did it. And then I had my manager and my lawyer call the club itself to bypass Rich. They won't answer our phone calls. I don't know Damn. what the fuck happened there. I love that fucking room. That's a great room. I know it is. <laughs> I know it's a great room, but I never. T- why would I? Why would I tell a stranger, a guy, to suck my dick? <sighs> I just, okay, listen, listen to me right now. Okay. Okay. Ask me if I've ever sucked uh, a dick before. Have you sucked a dick? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> I have. When? In high school. Why? Because I was drunk. I'm not gonna tell you who it was. With a buddy. High school. Dick out. And I was not in high school. I was like maybe eighth to ninth grade. Okay. <laughs> eighth to ninth grade. Okay. Okay. Did he finish? Did he no, finish? no, no. I just tasted a couple times. I don't like the salty. <laughs> ah! So I sucked it. All right. What I'm willing to admit, <laughs> Bobby, every fucking awful, dirty thing I've ever fucking done. I'm not. I'm not a fucking angel. I've made mistakes. I've been in and out of sobriety. I've relapsed before. I know my frailties, and I know exactly what I've done in my fucking life, all right? If you've asked, you know, when they say, were you molested by a guy with Down syndrome? Yes. <laughs> he stuck his little sweaty fingers in my butthole when I was nine. And he gave me candy, and I went back every fucking day for three times in a row to get that candy. And I let him stick his fucking sweaty fingers in my butthole, and I took them off. I don't give a fuck. I want the fucking dip candy. You know, you have the dip? You know, with the stick? No. Uh, right. So I went back, you know what I mean, every day for three summers row to get my candy. Uh, what was the going on during the school year? What? You, why, why do you only go during the summers? Because he, he was the guy that mowed the lawn at the fucking skating rink during the summer. And then during the winter, it was, so he never lived there. But in the summer, he was like the, the groundsman. Right? Oh, the my God. Place. And he lived in the shack there, right? And he had this candy on the rafters. I'm just telling you this right now because of the fact that it's a dark thing, but it's like I'm, I'll admit to it, all right? Well, you know, I've, I've told my parents every dirty thing I've ever fucking done, and I've done many, all right? And I've apologized for bad things, but I never pulled my dick out to a limo driver and told him to suck my dick. It never fucking happened. You know what I mean? I didn't know he was Puerto Rican or whatever, you know what I mean? Or Cuban, whatever you are. You know? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh you know, my you've god. You've called Chinese before? No. <laughs> I always know you're Korean. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, what a good guy. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. I, I, listen, you could, you're going to expect people to get upset, especially in today's society, especially in the society we live in. Ah, people are going to get upset. But <laughs> what I don't understand is it's like a movie trailer. Before you go to the movie, you know there's some fucking in the movie or there's not. Or you know it's PG or R. Yeah. Same thing with the club. Same thing with YouTube. You can just go on YouTube and look at the comic. Oh, I recognize him from Mad TV or from some fucking movie or whatever. You know. Yeah. But my thing is, is that I have a door deal. I don't give a fuck if they left, but they get their money back. Right? I'm Asian. I want my money. You want your money? Yeah. You that was like, that's like $22 or whatever, 25 bucks. Even if they just saw three minutes, fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck yeah, that, you. Yeah, fuck fuck you. I want my fucking 25 Damn. bucks. I'm from the other. Oh, oh. Listen, if they want to leave, leave. Yeah. You want your money back, take the fucking money back. You made a mistake. If you, but most of these people in today's society, they go home, write a review on Yelp, send you a fucking email, tell you. I had a guy that sent me a thing from Vegas. 
He goes, that was the fucking dirtiest show I've ever seen. And he put, learn something from Cosby. <laughs> oh, is that what he That's said? what he wrote to me. And I'm like, Cosby raped <clears throat> fucking women, you dirty, dumb fuck. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. that's the, you know, uh, it just, listen, you're not going to please everybody all the fucking time. Somebody's going to get upset. I feel bad when Dead Squad guys come to my shows and bring their wives. And then like, we love it. Like, you can see the girls are like, I don't even know why I fucking came here. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. He's talking about eating my ass and breaking up to somebody's house and yeah. getting that pussy. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Mm. All right, man. Yeah, Bobby Lee's stories, man. <laughs> I hope that um, I hope that groundskeeper is in jail, <laughs> in prison. <laughs> right, it definitely. Hopefully, he isn't still cutting grass outside of bowling alleys. Bobby said he was he was nine years old when that happened. Like that nigga should be in like who was that? You tell your parents you put him in jail. <laughs> he's like he's like his sweaty fingers in my asshole. <laughs> and I went back over there every year for three summers. <laughs> God damn. Uh, oh man. Yeah. And I thought Bobby Lee. I thought he was younger than high school when he when he when he sucked when he sucked the penis. <laughs> That's kind of old to be in high school. <laughs> yeah, I guess that came back before the butt, the butt pokes, man. Yeah, the fingers in the butt. But yeah. Oh man. Yeah, definitely uh, he was inquisitive in his younger age, man. You know, and yeah, it's unfortunate, definitely. So but like Diaz. it's Joey Diaz has some nasty ass shit too. He said he was fingering an Indian girl on the dance floor and pulled his hand out it was covered in yogurt. <laughs> <Jeez. Nasty. laughs> yeah, That's pretty man. nasty. <laughs> and I think yeah. it's true. I wouldn't doubt that shit for a second. Oh definitely, definitely, definitely. You can tell a lot of truth between these two. You know, um And I think Bobby did pull his dick out and tell, tell the limo driver to suck his dick. That sounds exactly like what Bob, something Bobby would do. He can deny it. <laughs> he can deny it all the Right after the story and I'm just like, you know. It, That's something he would do. Something he would do. <laughs> the comedic value, it killed. Like, it definitely killed. It definitely killed. But, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah. Definitely sounded, yeah, it didn't convince me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely, man. So, bro, he, he he told everybody everything that's ever happened to him in his life. Not even people that open. You know what I mean? He's very open. He's very open. Definitely. He got guessy. And they, that's scary because I, I I think he still has secrets. So, he still can't. <laughs> the shit he's not telling us must, must be, like, <laughs> horrible. <laughs> So he's like, I went over there every day to the bowling alley <laughs> of the summer, and even on Halloween. He's like, yeah, a Down <laughs> syndrome groundskeeper. <laughs> How does that happen? This nigga got by the water boy. <laughs> three. How old was he? This must have been in his forties or something. Uh, he had some dirty fingers, man. He said they were playing. <laughs> That's disgusting to think about, man. Jesus. Poor Bobby. Yeah, poor Bobby. That made me feel sorry for him. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. said that. Yeah, the story's tragic, man. Yeah. 